Newport News in Review starts right now. Pritchett and welcome to this edition of Newport News in Review for the month of August 2010. Well just like the sun setting at the end of the day, they say all good things must come to an end. And unfortunately that includes one of the most relaxing times of the year that by now has you reminiscing about all your vacation memories and the many creative ways you came up with to cool off during those extremely hot dog days of summer. And speaking of pets, whether you're a lover of dogs or even cats, there's one very special place in this city that has them all as they continue to do all they can to provide the most humane care and welfare of animals while remaining committed in finding a loving home for every orphan pet in our community, whether large or even small. As we bring the show to you from the very remarkable Peninsula SPCA, located right here off J. Clyde Morris Boulevard. To some, it's just a building made up of bricks, mortar, and a fresh coat of paint. But to others, it's a place that has truly been making a difference in our community for almost 50 years. As the Peninsula SPCA, which serves the localities of Newport News, Hampton, York, and Pocosin, continues to do what they do best by providing thousands of homeless dogs, cats, and a whole host of other animals, regardless of age, health, temperament, or species, a second chance at life and the opportunity to connect them with the loving family of their dreams. But the great responsibility of helping to provide a bright future ahead for the thousands of animals that they take in every year is indeed no walk on a leash because it takes plenty of dedicated employees, volunteers, and a generous community to help continue to keep this remarkable place in operation and focused in on nursing these animals back to health, providing them with food, water, and the necessities of life, and the chance to receive that tender loving care that is needed for them to return to a normal life in society. And with that in place, over 19,000 animals over the last five years alone have been adopted. But even with that great of a success rate, their mission continues day in and day out, year after year, as they strive to help control the pet population by spaying and neutering all of their adoptable pets through their on-site clinic, offer their popular foster care program, give you plenty of ways to donate with time, money, and other necessities, and a very courteous staff that is always available to answer your questions and make sure that you are ready to make that commitment that will change your life and the life of the animal that will hopefully find a loving home with you for the rest of their lives. We are proud to feature the Peninsula SPCA and encourage you to open your eyes to the great work this fine facility does each and every day throughout the year. And you might even want to consider adopting one of the many loving cats, dogs, or friendly pocket pets as a new member of your family today. Well, August has been another busy month, so let's take a look at what's been going on right here in the city of Newport News. It's time to get your game on, as the city of Newport News and other Hampton Road cities unite as one to welcome in 15,000 future athletes of tomorrow from all across the country and all around the world for the 2010 AAU Junior Olympic Games. Some of the best things in life are at your fingertips as this special group of people take advantage of just one of the many unique instructional classes offered here in the city year round. And it's helping young and old alike by letting their creativity shine as they bring to life the people, places, and things on paper. Here we go. And it's move-in day as Christopher Newport University comes alive and the freshman class of 2014 gear up for another busy year settling in as students on a university campus and as residents in their new home away from home right here in the city of Newport News. 